Hey y'all, Schematics here again, but this time I'm not going to give a quick tutorial. Rather, I'm going to give a quick breakdown on this new plugin I picked up from Impact Soundworks, which is called Super Audio Cart. Before we actually get into the program, I have to say the look of this is really sleek. It's retro, it's modern, and it sits very well with the other libraries that I have here in my contact arsenal. It just looks great. And if you come in here, honestly, it doesn't it doesn't look too intimidating. I know from a quick video that I've seen online by my favorite composer, you've got a few channels here, a few layers, and it works very well with layering sounds. You can create some really nice, full and lush sounding instrumentation choices with that combination. So without much talking, I'm going to start working with it and see what I can come up with. So the first sound we have here is the Pulse 50% Wave from the NES. So let's just give this a quick sound test and see what we can cook up. Honestly, I like it. It's super cool, really retro. It has that straight up Sega, Super Genesis, Game Boy. It's everything. It's just everything to me. These are the sounds that I grew up with. So honestly, for those that know me, I really like delay and reverb. So I'm just going to throw a little bit on. Not too much. I lied. Maybe too much, but a little feedback. But just to give that same pattern a test and see what we can... Oh, that's nice. Wow, that sounds really, really good. Honestly, I'm a sucker for that. For reverb, delay, it just it makes everything a little bit more spacious to me. Let me give this another test. Hold on. Oh God. Okay. So my mouth is foaming right now, but so far I'm really, really liking this. And it's so easy to switch between what you want for your instruments. You got drums, you got your arps, your sequences, your keys, your leads. I think the key splits are a really awesome idea too. And you see how like these layers kind of get filled out. So it really separates like half the keyboard. The left half is more the bass and your right hand is like more of a lead sound. And I think, oh God, that just screams funk to me. This is not even real. At this point, I'm just cycling through these key switches and looking at all the presets for them, and I'm really liking FM Flashlight. It has a really strong F0 feel to me, at least to me. And uh, if you look through the layers, we've got a square wave one, pulse 50%, guitar Michael Drive, and a synth clav. And together, it has a really nice full sound to it. <laughs> It's just, ugh, the retro is crazy here. How is this even possible? Like, if I, I don't even know. How do these guys do this? This is just amazing. What's this one? Wait, I saw something look interesting. RPG battle? What? 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 What's this? <laughs> I love RPG stuff, and it has a harp to it too. So let's see what this kind of combines here. So we got strings in the higher register, okay, and then the lower register, bass and mallet timpani. How can I work this? I don't know. This is hard. I don't think I can. But this is gonna be a little tricky. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you, Impact Soundworks. Okay, let's uh, keep this moving here. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Look like a little kid on Christmas. I am doing such a horrible demo. I should be looking at everything, but I'm still in these key splits, and I'm loving them a lot, to be honest. So demo, much scene? So we've got Pulse 12, Drum Kit 4, Drum Kit 7, and a Pulse Wave. So, how would this... Oh, I love these. This is some of my favorite, actually. So I imagine in the lower register we'll have drums. Yeah, we do. Oh, that's nice. Um. I like how the drums are kind of, uh arpeggiated, they're on their own, and then that kind of lets the left hand relax a little bit while your right hand does all the work, which is pretty cool, so I can just let that go. So I've stumbled across another preset called Yuso Yuzo, which I'm hoping is a little hint at Yuzo Koshiro, who is possibly the greatest of all time. Next to, of course, Uematsu, of course, but... I like this a lot, it's really funky. Let's see what I got. Like, in the right hand you've got like a harpist chord going on. And then in the left hand you've got drums and bass moving at an arpeggiated pace, so you can just hold a button down and you're good to go. So it's like, it's funky. so fun so I mean there is nothing wrong with key splits I feel like this is the best part of it even though I haven't really explored too much else but I'm really liking the 16-bit funk setup a lot too I really want to try making a uh, a fan-made Etrian Odyssey album and I think this is gonna be my biggest tool set in doing so Alright, so I finally broke free of the spell of key splits, so I decided to check out some leads. Uh, we've got clean and dirty leads. I'm in the clean leads now for the blip leads, so I imagine this is going to sound like super retro. Yeah, this is like what I need to hear in my life. A little bubbly. I feel like this would be like really good for those puzzle style games too. <laughs> Let's try the next one. Might not sound too different, but uh, let's give it a shot. Oh, it's got a nice lead on top of that. Hmm, that's fun. What do we have here? Why the steeple? Poly Rage 2. I think there's a little bit too much reverb on this for me, but it's not a bad sound at all. Sonic. So I'm gonna go through these a little quickly.
honestly, my feedback is this is a great tool. Whether you are interested in solely composition of retro games, you definitely want to have this in your library, but even if you're not, I think anyone should just pick this up just to have. It's really powerful, really user friendly, and there's so much I haven't even begun to get involved with in this, uh, in this layout. I mean, I'm, I'm not the best at mixing and audio engineering, so these presets are doing wonders for me. I might modify them just a little bit for my liking, and you can do the same. I've been having fun with this for the past two hours, and I didn't even notice the time fly by, but I really wanted to give this a good test toast, so I can put it out there for people who are interested, who are kind of on the fence about it. Don't be on the fence about it, just get it. Believe me, you'll be fine, and I think it'll lessen your uh, frustration when you're looking for that perfect sound. It's all in here. You just gotta find it, or you can create it. It's up to you. But that's it. Skip on signing out. Thanks for looking at this uh, new content. And if anyone has any questions, feel free to drop a line below. And cheers.